Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Room 2 with T the Writer. I enjoyed the first game so much, I'm jumping straight into the second one. That was an amazing game. And we did see the mysterious AS at the end of the first game, so maybe uh, we will uncover a bit more of this mystery here in the second game. So again, we're turning hence off because we're not a big fat girly man. We're turning down the volume so you guys can hear me. Uh, I tried messing with the graphical settings and my computer almost exploded, so apparently it can go pretty high for stuff made of metal and wood, but whatever. So, let's get straight into it. I'm excited. The end of the first game was really cool. So here we go. Loading! And again, there's like five of these games, so I imagine each one is bigger and better than the last one. Hello. Tutorial. So, uh, click and drag the mouse to look. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just going to head straight into it. Double click on the note to focus. Open. Okay, if my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now, you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. Signed, A.S. So yeah, we're. this is a direct continuation. You remember at the end of the first game, uh we inserted the null element into the table and the we opened a hell mouth and then uh we opened some kind of dark gateway inside that gateway and we briefly saw uh AS standing there in front of us and then we kind of got sucked in and told that you know now we're trapped in here with him and everybody else that has meddled with the null element. So, this must be a direct continuation. That makes me very happy. Oh, and there's the eyepiece. The lens is broken. Yeah, and the eyepiece broke at the end of the last game. So, yeah, this is like two seconds later, the second game starts. I love that. I love when there's such good continuity. Click back. Okay. Zoom out further to view the rest of the room. And guys, this is dark for me, so I'm going to try and, like, increase the brightness by, like, 20-25% because I know YouTube darkens things and my video editor darkens things. And there were certain parts of the original series that I did that were too dark to comfortably see. Oh, I can just look around how I please now. That's good. That's good. This is a big improvement. All right. Well, let's go over to this other table. Double click on the round box. Okay. Rotate the keyhole cover. Okay. Push the button. Well, it's not a keyhole cover then, is it? It's a button cover. Huh. A puzzle? Looks like some of the objects can be moved. Well, this... This looks kind of basic. Of course, this is a brand new game, so I guess it's going to start at the bottom and work its way up again, which is good, because the end of the first game was getting pretty rough on my tiny, tiny brain. So I'm glad we're kind of resetting the difficulty. It's a new lens. A peculiar-looking lens. The lens looks like it would fit the eyepiece. Yes! Was the old one red? No, it was blue. This one's red. Oh. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Click the fingerprint. Oh, okay. A small piece of shaped metal. I should try to see where this piece... I should try to find where this piece can be used. Okay, so... Is it just a different color because, or is it a different color for a reason? I like to think it's for a reason. 
does it go? Oh, this table's covered with stuff. Okay. Does it just, is it just go on this box here? No, it doesn't fit there. Mm, maybe I spoke too, oh, hello. Maybe I spoke too soon. October 23rd, 1883. Holy crap. Uh, Mr. Rigby, suffice to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. Wow, what a douchebag. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr. D. Mont... Montfalcon is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. The hell does that even mean? It, <laughs> it falls to me then to brief you in your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifacts spelled incorrectly. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within certain small communities of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. Well, how is he supposed to deliver it? It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Wow, what a douchebag. He didn't sign the letter. All right. Oh, well, is this where this goes? Oh, no, it's just another one to grab. Okay, so I've got two of these now. Are there are there others around the table? Uh It does not appear so. Do these go here? No. What does the lens have to say? Anything? Anything? No. This is a slightly more advanced tutorial. I'm already stuck. Is there anything I can move or click on or shift or... Oh! <laughs> Apparently I'm just bending over the entire table. Is there anything else in this box over here? I know it's staring me in the face, I do. Is there anything else? Do I gotta go back over here? Yes, I do! Look, we got some hexagonal uh, uh, holes. This panel appears to be missing two shaped pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remember now I can go back and forth between places to with with different pieces of things. Okay, what's this? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. There he is. Grab that. Yeah! What do we got there? A strange brass sphere. Can I still examine it? Yes, I can. Is this an eyeball? Or a vagina? Maybe both. Vagina eyeball. Ah! Okay. The, wait, what does it say? The base looks detachable, but not by hand. Okay, maybe this goes somewhere over here. Yeah, what, what about this? No, doesn't fit there. Is there anywhere else to stick this? Oh, pfft. round thing in round hole, Tony. Oh, it is a, it is an eye. Okay. Does it do anything? This is a compass rose, but... Huh. Oh, oh, ooh! It looks... S-S-E-N-W? Perhaps the code is hidden in the room somewhere. Is it on one of these notes? Notes? 
So I've got four letters to work with. Is it over here? Where's the other letter? Here it is. Uh, I just remember how clever I thought I was as a kid, realizing that the compass directions can spell out the word news. <laughs> okay. What else is going on in this room? I can see, like, debris over here. But it's so badly lit. It won't let me look up at the ceiling, either. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sesun. S-E-S-W-N. Okay. Okay, let's try it. S E S W N. Ah. Okay. A medallion. It looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Oh, we got more objects you can pull apart. Oh, wow. I wonder if it matches. I wonder if anything matches this shape. This is the freaking tutorial. Remember when we had the little wooden safe and we thought we were hot shit? Jeez. Oh, I bet this goes here. This this little square shape. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's a uh it's one of the binocular things you you look at in at New York when you're looking at the Statue of Liberty. It's like a spotlight. Oh, okay. Z, Z, okay. Wait, you went past the uh, giant hole in the wall. Oh, oh, okay. I see it up there. Uh, hourglass. Is this some kind of castle? What's with all the stonework? Look at these buttresses. Hello? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Lady. If I look away and look back and you're not there, I'm going to be very upset. Oh my god, it's a magical D20. Maybe that was the null element, actually. Oh, maybe that was the null element. Oh, more of these. Okay, yeah. We gotta... We gotta line it up. <laughs> what is that? What is that doing? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That was one of the lesser symbols in the first game. Ugh. What? Uh, chapter complete. You've done well to emerge from the crypt, sound of both mind and spirit, though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. Oof, that was uh, that was pretty rough for a tutorial level. Geez, compared to the first game, we just had a box sitting in an attic. Now we gotta move around and make new items and combine stuff, and that was really cool. Well, it seems we've upped the ante, guys, so uh, I am definitely charging ahead with this one. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye!